Hello folks, this is Jan Lee from that very small but intimate company of one, Jan Lee Hypnosis. So I want to, I just want to say a few things about hypnosis. This is my passion. I have been a certified hypnotist on, let's see, since 2010, since about July of 2010. I wish I had done this 30 years ago. I really do. Now, it is not a miracle. It is not the be-all, end-all for everybody with every kind of problem, but it is a powerful tool for wellness. It really is. And I think there still is so much misconception about this. I'm not sure if it's the word hypnosis, which tends to have some people run away or make some crazy comments or accusations, but let's just think of mind over matter or mind power or mental power or um, a, a deep relaxation that helps you be aware of what, of what you need to change in your life, okay? Let's think maybe of a storage unit I'm actually looking at, I don't know, it looks like, it looks like a, the trailer of a truck with, um, with a big, like a storage unit on top of it. That's what I'm looking at right now. For years, I had a storage unit. So I want you to think about that storage unit. You go into that storage unit, you have all kind of stuff piled up, the clutter in there. And you know that some of the stuff is not even good for you to have. There's no you have no need for it. It maybe brings about negative thoughts or feelings. It's junk. You want to clear it out and make space for things that you do want to have in there. If you see that storage unit as your subconscious mind and you imagine that that is full of everything in there, everything you've collected all of your life, your thoughts, your feelings, your quirks, your successes, your failures, your memories, everything is in there. And so that having everything in there, you're going to have some things in there that should be tossed, should be deleted, should be thrown out. Things that are really garbage to you. And what you need to put in there is some of the things that have become precious to you that you want to store in there because they have something associated with it that is this good or positive or just brings uh, something good to you. Okay, if you think of it like that, the subconscious mind, your storage unit, all of the stuff in there, some of it needs to be taken out with the trash. Maybe some of it just needs to be moved around. Maybe there's some of it that you, you've got to have in there. It's important for you to keep in there, but you need to move it to the back or move it so that it's not front and center. Um, maybe then when you have some space and you have it organized and less clutter, you can put some of the things that maybe you have in your home and you want to put in storage there, things that are valuable, things that you know you, you're keepers, you want to keep them. And I think if you just use that storage unit as the idea of the subconscious mind, that really is our storage place, our deeper mind where everything is, everything that we've experienced is. But we've got to get in there. And let's say that maybe, maybe when you go to the storage unit, let's just imagine like you go to the storage unit and there's a guard dog there. There's a guard dog there that's going to keep, keep you out. Unless you say the right word or give it the right treat. Imagine that the guard dog is like your conscious mind, your critical factor. The part of your brain that is more readily available, that we're always using. The part of the brain that is um, uh, judgmental, um, takes in the information, puts out, tosses it out, 
um, is judgmental and critical, okay? So imagine that that guard dog represents your critical mind, your conscious mind, and you have to get past it or you have to distract it or, or just move it off to the side to gain access to your subconscious mind. And so maybe that's what you do with this guard dog that is like your conscious mind. You're, it's keeping guard, but you've got to distract it, move it away so you can get in there. Maybe you give it this treat or you kind of give it a little nudge or maybe you scare it or maybe you just kind of trick it a little bit, but it walks away to eat its treat or a toy or whatever. Yeah, it's probably eating a toy too. If, if it's like our little Shih Tzu, it's, it's eating the toy as well. And so you've got to do that. And, and what you're doing and, and what a hypnotist is doing, what I would be doing is helping you with distracting, gently nudging that critical factor, that conscious part of your mind away so that I can help you get into that subconscious part of your mind where everything is, where you can begin to make the changes. And there, if you think about it, what we're going to put in there and what I'm going to help you put in there, positive suggestions. I'm going to use analogies and metaphor and some slower, softer, lower, kind of unusual speech with the rhythm. It might be the kind of rhythm, if you imagine that you are walking down a stairway, 10 steps down, and you begin on number 10. And you imagine the rhythm that go to number nine and deeper down, number eight, deeper down, more relaxed, number seven, there's a rhythm, there's a kind of monotony, there's a, a repetition that actually helps your conscious mind just drift away like a cloud so that you have access to that part, it's your own self, it's your own mind, it's not mine. You don't want to be in mine. You don't want to be in mine. But it's your own mind where of course you're brave enough, of course you're courageous enough. You can do it, you can access, you can face what you may find in there. It's like walking into that storage unit and seeing some of the crap that you have in there that brings back some memories that maybe are hurtful. Maybe you cry. Maybe it's upsetting. You go, oh my God, do I still have that thing? What am I hanging on to that? Oh, I remember that time. Or, But you're courageous because you can take control and throw it out. Get rid of it. Move it in the back. You can take control and carry the things that you want into that part of your mind and place them in that storage unit. Place them in your subconscious mind because they are suggestions of new thinking, new feelings, new reactions, new behaviors, new healthy habits, and it'll change your life. Call me, please. I can see you face to face if you're not well, no, if you're in Hawaii, I could probably still see you face to face. And I don't mean Zoom. I mean, fly me over there. Fly me. I'll go. Okay. But um, I can do actually physically do a face to face session. If you're in my area, I'm about 20 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. But I can also do a face to face. We can do a Zoom session. Um, you know, sometimes I think that technology gets quirky. It's not foolproof, but you know what? Humans aren't either. So <laughs> it's fine. Or, you know, I can work with you. I, I, I do a, an interview with all of my clients to find out what the problem is and what their style is. And if they like my style and my voice, I, I will do that half an hour phone interview with you. And then I'll spend some hours. I will spend some time on creating the session. The session that is going to help you change your mind and change your life. Okay? 
and then what we can do if we don't do a face-to-face with a zoom face-to-face we can do um, an audio I can actually just create record an audio I'm going to be working with one of my buddies who is a fantastic audio engineer to help make my voice and what's surrounding my voice like everything mouth noises the sound I'm in my car now so you might hear you know the engine I have the engine on Um, yeah uh, uh, my window cracked I'm fine anyway um you know, I will work with this sound with Michelle, my sound engineer, who's phenomenal with all of this, and she will begin to work on perfecting those audios. And they might just be 15, 20 minute audio, hypnosis audios, but you can have them. You, um, you purchase them and you can have them and listen to them. If you like me, my voice, my style, um, you trust me, uh, I'm trustable person uh, and you know like I am committed to helping you I cannot guarantee hey if you find a hypnotist that's giving you some kind of guarantee 100% guarantee that you're gonna stop smoking you're gonna do this you're gonna eat healthy you're gonna change this go for it that's not my style I am um, probably a bit more humble than that I I think I'm a good hypnotist I'm a good mental health nurse I have been for a long long time and I care deeply, but I'm also wise enough, maybe it's because I'm old enough to know, but I'm wise enough to know. I I really can't give that guarantee that this is gonna be working 100%. What I can guarantee is that I will do the best job that I can to help you change your mind, reprogram your mind, and change your life, okay? So give me a call, 724-351-1242. And um, just give me a call, leave me a message. If you don't get me, my email is Jan Lee. That is the tiniest, simplest name, J-A-N-L-E-E, hypnosis. A lot of people do ask me about spelling, H-Y-P-N-O-S-I-S at gmail.com. You can shoot me an email, um, give me a phone call, look at my YouTube channel which is Jan Lee hypnosis and and see what I do Uh, I'm gonna be posting this on YouTube and we can go from there I would love to work with you Um, number one I really am committed to helping helping people in this way like this seems to be um, my thing or whatever my gift or, or skill that I've developed but this is more than that it's my passion okay this is what I love to do and number two like it's a way it's my earning a livelihood this is really all that I'm doing right now I am uh, probably nearing the end of my career as a psychiatric RN I am done with inpatient work so yes I look for outpatient and remote mental health work and that is a huge help for me doing hypnosis to have that foundation in uh, psychiatric nursing but this is my thing, so um, please call me. Um, no, that that didn't help. But call me and let's talk. Um, let me help you understand what this is about if you don't know, and let's go from there. Okay, I'm really really excited, and would be so proud of you if you just take this uh, little leap. It's not a giant leap. Just take this little step to uh, calling me contacting me and if it can't be me for whatever reason then then please contact a a good hypnotist okay and and work on reprogramming that amazing awesome but also um, at times chaotic mind of yours Uh, I know I'm the same all right take care Um, best to all of you love and peace thank you